There is a sister here, you have faced disappointment for marriage. Come, let's pray together. Come, let me pray for you. You were in a relationship with somebody and this somebody promised you marriage and they disappointed you. That's the person I'm looking for. Is it you? Come. You were in a relationship with somebody and this somebody disappointed you. You were not yet married. Do you know why this person disappointed you? I don't know. I'm not sure. But, but it came in as a shock to you. Yes. You just woke up one day, all of a sudden it's the end of the relationship. Yes. People from your home, they don't get married. That's true. None, no one in your family is married. This is the spirit behind this disappointment. We cancel it today in the name of Jesus. Out! Evil spirit. Out! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. My sister, you are free. You will meet somebody who will marry you. Greetings, greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makanenesa. And with me here today is my sister, who is located during the service, but Prophetess Tendo Simono, who minister upon her life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Um, my name is Ngate Kongobeni. I currently stay in Clayville. Today during the service, Prophetess Tendo located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Um, she prophesied about my marital life as she was saying that um, I, I almost get, got married and I never got married. So out of the blue, the person and I decided, like he decided to leave me. And she said that um, this is a spirit in my family. It's true, everyone in my family hasn't ever gotten married. All the ladies in my family haven't gotten married. This is a disappointment that happens like all the time when I meet people. They'll just leave me from nowhere. So with the last person I was engaged to them and then they just left. And how did that affect you? Ah, I was just questioning God and what was happening. Um, but then with every prophecy that I have received here, it's always been the same story that this is a spirit from my family. Yeah. And how do you feel that today? The prophet has located you and spoke upon your life? Um, I feel relieved that maybe this thing is finally leaving me. Yeah. And I'll probably meet someone and want to get married with them. Yeah. Mama, you have a very close friend that you tell everything. Please. Hmm? Yes. Don't anymore. I'm not saying go home and accuse your friend. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Hear me too well. Yeah. I didn't say go home and do what? And accuse your friend. But you have a friend, you tell things, you tell everything. And this your friend. It's not a good friend. Okay. Run away from this, your friend. Okay? okay? Yeah. Lift up your hands, I pray for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Your friend, out, out, the name of Jesus, live it, live it, now, 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 what are you doing, yeah, what are you doing, leave this lady to get married, now, now, 
Eh? Why you don't no. want her to get married? No, no. Eh? Why you don't want her to get married? Sis! Who are you? Oh, for sake! But that's not an answer to my question. Oh, why is he coming here? Why, man? Oh, who are you? You! You know me! You know me! Me? Who are you? You! Small girl like you! No, 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 no! No! I'm saying no! No! You, are you hearing me? You are no, saying no. I'm saying no. She won't. She won't she, get married. She's fine. Jesus says no. she'll get married. No, 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 no. And you are leaving you. her now. You. Now. You. In you. Jesus' name. I put fire in that hair. No. Wolf. No, you. In the I name will, of Jesus. I will kill you. You want to kill me? Uh, yes. Me? Uh, yes. How? Yes. You are too small for me. I'm too small for you. No, 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 hey, no, no, no. Uh, in Jesus name this lady must get married in the name of Jesus mama you are free ne? you are free go and get married Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Faith Jauge from Tembis. I'm from Gyan, but now I'm staying at Tembis. Yeah. Today during the service, Prophet Stendhal located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Prophetess was calling the people don't have the, the marriages. So I'm one that I come out when I reach there from her. She, tell, she, she pray for me, so, and then the manufacturer, manufacturer of a spirit. So I believe now that I'm a free. So what did she say to you? You don't remember, she just prayed for you. I remember she said that I might leave the, uh, one of my, the, the, the friend I have. I must leave the friend I have. Yes, first before she pray for me, I will make a plan to leave the, uh, that friend, and uh, I believe that when she pray for me, I believe that the, the, the marriage is coming. Yes, I already received. Yes. I want to pray for you, ne? but please cut on your friends, cut on the way you speak. Because the person who left you is complaining about you don't respect him. Mm -hmm. hmm? And he told you this, you don't respect me. Humble yourself. God will give you somebody who will marry you, but humble yourself. Okay. Yes. It's not everything that people say they do in their homes that they actually do. Some of them are just lying. They don't do it. Okay. Don't listen to anyone anymore. Humble yourself. You will see you will get married. Ne? Yes. My sister, you are free. Hallelujah. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Ratabile. I come from Rabarish. I stay in Rabarish. I mean. Prophetess Tender located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Yes, um, she was she was um, she was prophesying about my marriage, my past disappointment. That I had someone who paid Lobola, then at the end of the day, then he left me. So he said it's because of me, I didn't respect him enough to marry me. Yes, the prophecy is true. Yes, yes sometimes, yes. <laughs> but I was not aware. Yes. And how do you feel that today she located you and ministered upon your life? I feel free because now I know the real reason why he left me. I was not aware of that. Yes. But say in the black and white suit, come let me pray for you. Yes, please. Oh, 
but said I must tell you that he is with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Your situation is tough. Very tough. Your situation is very tough. Amen. Where is your wife? I'm not married. I'm not married. Is a spirit that's following you. Please don't cry, please. There's a spirit that is following you. That renders people in your family useless. Sorry to use the word. You are right. You're right. A spirit that renders people useless. You become nothing. Amen. You die with nothing. Exactly. A spirit will be broken today. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Take him up. Take him up. Mm. Your life has changed. You'll be first in your family to live a better life and marry a wife. A job is coming your way. Hallelujah. Pastor, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Joel Mokrele. I'm from Mikkelberg, Mpumalanga. So today during the service, Prophet Stenda located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Yes, what the woman of God prophesied in my life is nothing but the truth, 100%. And uh, is what uh, in my life which is happening and in my family. Because she said, she said uh, we die. There's a spirit that render us useless. We die having nothing, and the life is so difficult for us. And what she said is true. It's true. So, what are specific challenges that you've been that you've been facing to confirm what the prophet has said to you? Okay, the the challenges which I was facing, uh, sit back, limitation, struggling. And uh, 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 when, even if I, I help people, when they help me back, I don't, dis I don't get what is really I was supposed to get. And uh, there's going to be limitation, and uh, they're going to be struggling, there's going to be delay sometimes. So I've ended up, I said, uh, whether, whatever is happening with my life, I hand it in the hands of God. Let God have the last say. Because he's Alpha and he's Omega. Amen. And how would that affect you? That has affected me really because one thing which was hating me so bad is that when I promise to do something to people and then when I face stagnation, struggling, sit back, delay, I know that I will look like I'm not faithful to those people. I will look unfaithful. And so how do you feel that today Prophet has turned to located you and spoke upon your life? I feel very relieved. I feel very relieved and I believe that the word of God shall never come back to God's mouth being void and affliction shall never rise for a second time over my life. And I believe that this has happened in my life, has set me free and has set my family free and my family descendants free. Say Please come. Yes. Not the one with the suit. The one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, I will pray for all of you. A car is giving you problems. Yes. I'm seeing you. You are fixing. You are it breaks, you fix it, breaks, you fix it. It's a back and forth situation. Yeah, we just sent it to the uh, panel beaters. Mm. Uh, we're 
using a courtesy car for, a uh, courtesy the car for free. God will give you another car. Thank because you. this one is giving you problems. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now the enemy is using these problems to eat your money. Because it's always going to the mechanic. Always going to the mechanic. God is giving you another car. I'm not going to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. God is giving you another Thank car. You, Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My sir, name is Godwell. I'm from Cosmos City. Sir, today during the service, Prophet Stando located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what, he, what she said and please confirm it. Yeah, what the Prophet has said is true. I confirm it to be true because I heard about um, yeah, almost two, three accidents. So I was forced to take the car to the panel beaters and it's a business car. So right now I'm using a courtesy car at the present moment. Yeah, it's giving me problems, uh, but not exactly the engine, but the outside part. I had about three knocks. So yeah, it's with the panel beaters at the present moment. So yeah, it's consuming my money, consuming my money. That's true. And how do you feel that today, Prophet is tender located you and minister upon your life? As it is the word from the messenger of, of God, I believe it to be true, and I hope I'm going to get the best car ever, and I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Thank you. There's a person here you've been applying and reapplying for bursary, and you're not getting it. Come, let me pray for you. You are applying and applying. You can't be approved for a bursary. Come, let me pray for you. Come, we pray together. Ceci, are you working? No, I'm studying. Come, I pray for you. Another one I'm looking for, you are working. But you want to further your studies. And you are applying for this bursary and it's not coming through. Are you working? You're the one who's working. Yeah, I'm working. And you're applying for a bursary yeah, and it's I've, not coming. I've through. been applying, yes. Getting declined all the time. Lift up your hands, Sissy, come. And then you will get your bursary, you hear? In Jesus' name. Come. There's a spiritual husband that steals your things. Yeah, I'm aware of that, yeah. Every good thing that wants to come to you, this spiritual husband comes and it, you are disappointed. In Jesus' name. You will never be disappointed.